What's up, guys? We're back to SCP Containment Breach. And 173 is going to be a dick. Mainly because I cannot get him to go in the elevator without him snapping my neck. So that's kind of a problem. Okay, we have to make sure that he is not too close. Wait. Wait, did he despawn? Oh, no, he didn't despawn. It's just that he hasn't spawned. Because I saved right before he spawned. Awesome! Awesome sauce! Where is he? He's gonna spawn. I know he is. He spawned this way at first. So... Oh! Damn it! This is cheap. I'm losing my breath. Jeez. How did I survive the first time? Ugh. Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. Hardcore cover book, approximately 1500 pages long, front cover, spine feature. The title, the encyclopedia. The front cover and spine feature. The Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. No other copies of the book with that title and publisher have been found, and no record of the publisher exists. Okay, the kill to load time is supposedly very quick, so that is why I'm not cutting the recording here. Because, as you saw from other previous things, it takes like two seconds, but this is taking a bit longer than two seconds. So ho hopefully it doesn't take too awfully long. Man, I should take a break. I've been recording all of these in one single session. I, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I need water, I'm out of breath. My throat's a little raspy from screaming. So at least Regalis has gotten the game back on track. I mean, granted, I have played this game quite a bit, so any new changes ought to, you know, incite fear into my mind. But how am I supposed to get past 173? Like, I think he is spawning behind me. I think. Can't tell. All I know is that he's spawning, and I don't know where. So let's moonwalk, and if that doesn't work, then he's spawning in front of me, and therefore I shouldn't be changing anything. I think. Okay, I think that little no. I heard like a jump in audio, which I assume. He's still nearby. He's here. He's here. I just don't know where. Where are you? Ah! I saw it coming! Okay, moonwalking is not a good idea. He is not spawning behind me. God damn it. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if any other horror game has ever made me scream like this before. It's a lot of jump scares, though. Although, it does give the ambient scares, like that freaking mask. You know, sort of like Majora's Mask, where the moon itself, like... You always know it's there. It's more creepy and disturbing than scary, so... This game has jump scares, ambient scares, and just overall a environment, which is pretty much the same thing as ambient scares, but... Basically, it gets to you on a creepiness level, and a jump scare level. So, if you love horror games, then... <laughs> Man. I gotta give this game props. It's one of... It's my favorite horror game of all time. And one of the favorite... My favorite games of all time, so... <sighs> it's really up there. Like, whew, it's off the charts. Okay, so... 
we're just going to look ahead of us. And we know the general area of where he spawns, so that should give us some. That should give us a good idea of where we can blink to make him spawn, and also try and avoid 049. Eh, 69%, it's a sex thing. Why am I rubbing my eye like this? My eyes itchy, my eyes are disturbed. Alright, 173. I'm ready for you. I'm ready, Beach. Okay, so we can just casually walk along like this. Nothing special need be done. We just have to make sure that we don't go too far before we blink again. Okay, so we can run over here. Okay, and it's at this point where he actually does spawn. Aha! I got you now! The sound effect was a bit late on that part, but... Come over here. Come over here, I want to show you something. There's this neat looking thing. It's called an elevator. I think you'll like it. It's pretty cool. And awesome. Okay, just go in the elevator. Uh, that's a bit close for comfort for me. Um, don't snap my neck. Um, where'd he go? Uh, I don't think he wants to go in the elevator. No, he does not. So, okay. I guess there goes my plan. How do I... How do I contain him? Like, I, I'm not meaning put him back in his containment chamber, but... How do I make it so he isn't on my ass? Dang it. I don't suppose I can close this door. Close it? No? Nothing interesting happens. Screw yourself. Oh man. Uh, what do I do? Am I boned? By the looks of it, I am boned. Like, I am quite literally the definition of boned. I mean, 173's standing there like he's the freaking guardian of the world. 049 and the other two zombies are probably standing at the other side like they're freaking guarding the president. What do I do? There's no other way past them. And obviously, as you guys saw, he doesn't despawn. So, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, we're gonna stand over here. Hopefully, he is curious enough to enter the elevator. Where do you- Whoa! Whoa! What? A- to Go screw yourself. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do, guys? What do I do? I'm not starting the game over. No, I am not. I am not starting the game over after all this. Hmm. I'm trying to think outside the box, but... Like, look. Uh, I mean, look. This is literally the only way to go. means that he spotted me. He kind of already knows where I am anyway, so I don't think so. Oh, it, get in the elevator, please. Okay. 
He's not going in. He's going around. But why is he doing that? Maybe if I run away really far. Maybe he'll leave me alone. Okay. So far, he's not being a dick. Ah, he's being a dick. Um... I can't really lure them away. I, I can't do anything. If I had the Jade Ring, that, was, that would be awesome. Oh, crap. That's him, isn't it? Wait, is he not following me? I don't think he's following me. The dick isn't following me. I don't think. I don't see him. Uh, but I don't want to look away, because I know... Oh, there he is. He is... What? Zero four nine out of nowhere. Uh, no, assumed to be a tempo. Oh, 